Revelio. Deep's no herbology professor, but some plants here seem to be ready to harvest. Now that it's night, I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Rebellion.
Venia. I'm safe to explore in that. Oh, nice to see you here. Job at Gringotts. Suit me sitting around all day. Find you. Confringo. Rebellion. Confringo. No telling what life You're here. Good. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'd be interested to know what else the student discovered. Have a look. Unfortunately, there's no name on it. But I suspect if it was important enough for Slytherin to stash in his spellbook, it's worthy of further study. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't, I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. 
Try not to lose your nerve just yet. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Revelio. Opening all of these is tempting. Confringo! We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is just a good This room is a Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. <gasps>
Venia. Slip there. <laughs> now, this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur, Revelia. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside a sarcophagus. Seems... odd. here by the altar. What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring... Of course. The student's summary referenced the space beyond the Great Room. Which means this can't be a dead end. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades, I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. 
Do you think the pages were left here on purpose? Slytherin mentioned a student who excelled in charms and always carried a satchel stuffed full of notes. They might have been left on purpose, or the student may have simply dropped them. Of course. I'll start... Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of the statue. Guardian, hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or, in this case, no bone. Revelia. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Revelio. Nice. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. Bone bridge complete. Revelio. Revelio. realize something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Shouldn't I know more about what the curse entails? Remember the Blasting Curse? Same idea, except when it comes to unforgivable curses, your intention has to be clear. You have to mean it. Where did you learn the Imperious Curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Go. 
Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Another barricade. Consider it more like than the last one. This should be a cinch. How gracious of you. I try. Rebellion.
You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Revenia. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. and rendition of the relic it matches this must i can't believe it after all this it like what do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential i have no idea but we're here for the relic i'm willing to ignore what the journal says we're taking the relic agreed this is meant to be for anne's sake i'm taking it let's get to feldcroft I must keep this relic secret, especially from my uncle. Revelio. Thomas, the sounds we kept hearing, it was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperium! Now that you say it out loud, it sounds absurd. But I have another idea. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. 
I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. <gasps> Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment for you to change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. Revelio. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I didn't want to worry him all over again. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. Revelia. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It had only upset her. Oh no, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldkoff's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry.
done. Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from... Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? No, this isn't good. What is it? Smoke. Over there, by the hamlet. Don't They're under attack. Let's hurry. But it was an unforgivable curse. I acted in the moment. That's all. I shall make my uncle see reason. It might be best to let him calm down. You may be right. Pardon me. What, Sebastian? Sebastian acted rashly, but he acted out of instinct to save Anne. Out of instinct? With an unforgivable curse? This family does not resort to using dark. That you are defending Sebast Sebastian is to come nowhere near. If I hear that. Why, Sebastian? Revelia, 